Welcome back to my channel. A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there on this planet who are here on this channeling session. This is the part 2 of the channeling session. Twin flame sex triggers DM running, divine masculine running. So I was saying that there is no doubt in both of their minds that they love each other. But the Divine Masculine has a very strong ego and the Divine Feminine is low on self-respect. That is the reason why she has been chasing him and explaining things to him and trying to convince him again and again that this is real, this is true love. Why do you come back to me again and again? Why do you want to talk to me again and again? Why can't, you, why can't you just be happy in your life? That's because you love me. That's because it's real. Things like that. And when she goes away from him, because in many cases, the runner and chaser role is exchanged by each other also. And this is that type of uh, couple that I see that they, they exchange the roles. Sometimes the feminine becomes a runner and the other one becomes a chaser then that becomes a chaser and this becomes runner and they are playing this game this tiring game and obviously they are not playing this game because they love to play this game because they are enjoying this game they are themselves trapped in this loop this this vicious loop the only person who can break out from this loop is the feminine The Divine is sending this message to feminines, all the feminines on this planet to awaken themselves fully. Because this planet, this planet is in the hands of the feminines. I have one more channeling about feminines and masculine energy role play. And it's a very intense channeling. So I will do it separately. But I keep getting the visions of that channeling it kind of interferes in this channeling because the, in that channeling they are showing to me again and again that the divine feminine can do anything she she can do anything all of them can awaken the god energy in them all of them and then the divine masculine will become an aid and a support system but she does not need him as a support system to be honest because she can do everything on her own and this is not from an ego perspective because she she had the lack of self-respect otherwise there are many ways of forgiving another person you must forgive the other person but you should also set boundaries she has to learn how to set boundaries not only with the dm but with so many people be it in workplace, be it in family relationships, be it with parents, be it with siblings, even with pets. You can't do this, you can't do that. Sexual trauma has been a highlight for many of you and you know that. Some of you have also felt very bad about it. Some of you also said that there must be something wrong in me that I attracted this. I must have done something I am the one you know with this bad fate with this bad destiny I keep attracting these type of abusers in my life or when she was a child she attracted certain abusers and violators and that one bad touch that one bad instance instance it it is in her heart it is it gives her pain she cries she cannot trust the divine masculine fully and you would know this if you are an advanced soul if you are more aware person you know when your dark nights come you know that this is a dark night this is such a solid strong dark heavy feeling and one in one hand the dm says to her that i love you I love you so much I want to meet you I want to hold your hand I want to kiss you and then she thinks about all those bad episodes that happened with her where she was sexually manipulated or sexually used maybe some previous relationship 
and some of you also had a false twin scenario and the false twin relationship goes on for long time for some people it's a very very toxic relationship to be in and it will show many signs of twin flame relationship a false twin will literally look like a real twin it can confuse even the best of feminine sometimes that if is it really to a real twin or false twin what is this what is this happening in my life but they can obviously they will learn they learn with time so one big factor of this relationship this journey this twin flame journey and i'm here to tell you guys all of that you can get private readings you can get personalized sessions you can get personalized coaching and in future who knows you would also one day be coaching other people helping other people i know there are some people who have converted a union scenario like hey come to me i will put you in union as a business as a bait there are people who advertise come to me i will put you on union on your twin flame union you have to be careful for that with those things with those people with those uh, situations you have to find the right healer for you the right coach for you because then then too you will you know then too you can waste time i'm not here to say anything bad for anyone i don't want to but i want to tell you guys that this is a planet of duality planet earth is a planet of duality you will see everything on this planet you will see the good you will see the bad you will see the day you will see the night you will see the dark you will see the light it's up to you you have to be in the middle now this is very important because this will help you out in your dealings with people some people think that spiritual people they don't get angry some people say that spiritual people they don't say anything wrong to anyone they don't shout at anyone they don't they do too and they have to you cannot be so sweet and so nice like sugar like chocolate that someone gulps you swallows you you cannot be so bitter so so vile so poisonous that people throw you out you have to be in the middle when it is required to set boundaries when it is required to set discipline or when it is required when someone troubles you when someone abuses you troubles you you have to tell them with a very strong face with a very strong face that hey don't you dare don't you do this the divine feminine has to learn all of these things you have to be a badass when it's required to be a badass and you have to be an angel when it's required to be an angel but you can only do that when in your heart you are one when you're in union when you're in singularity you will know how to do that and sexuality is not something to be ashamed of your body whatever size shape it is whatever color you have whatever complexion you have whatever ethnicity you have whatever race you have it's not something to be arrogant of it you, you don't have to be a kardashian you don't have to be like all the people who follow the kardashians and all the fake pop stars all the fake celebrities who have all plastic surgery full of insecurities full of surgeries full of botox but they are so arrogant they're like oh my god i'm a diva but if you remove everything from them they have toxic sexuality and this is what they are spreading on the planet to children to girls they are giving all the wrong messages of toxic matriarchy toxic femininity toxic sexuality and hardcore materialism hardcore materialism there is nothing that they talk about faith humanity goodness you have to be so arrogant so the divine feminine through all these triggers she has to learn the right thing if your twin flame divine masculine is not doing the right thing to you for you you have to be very stern with him 
you cannot be like okay oh my baby you love me so much you are so nice oh my god i will be i can do anything to to please you anything for you i will give my life for you i will give my blood for you i will give my soul for you <laughs> you don't have to do that <clears throat> if you think that he is not treating you correctly if you think that he does not know about boundaries then you have to tell him and you can only do it when you know how to live alone when you know how to be independent when you know how to be completely faith a person full of faith when you know that look i am doing something that my soul is telling me to do and i am completely on my own i came to this planet on my own i'm going to die alone my soul is all alone he is on the journey with me he is on the path with me he is my co-traveler maybe we came from some other galaxy maybe we came from some other world we, we came from, from from some other dimension but i am a soul after all you have to have that power that confidence on yourself on your sacred sexuality if you love your divine masculine you have to have faith in your love you have to have that type of respect for yourself that i love him he is mine i'm i'm attracted to him okay so have you seen men how they even if i've seen some married men i've seen some unfaithful men they're so like on the face when you ask them hey why did you cheat on me why did you do this to me these are all tax toxic masculines by the way i'm not giving example of you know uh, uh, someone nice a toxic masculine would say this on their face on your face if they cheat on you they'll say yeah i fell for that girl i liked her i'm attracted to her so what you know they can be like that this is the wrong thing they possess they are wrong but when you're right when you have you know in your heart and in your soul that this is the person i love then wh what's the shame in that he can be different you can be different both of you can be like poles apart from each other so what i see is that both of these df and dm they are very much sure about their love but after their intimate situations they always question each other and they always fight and they but they don't say it straight what is troubling them it is the divine masculine here who says to the divine feminine that i don't want to be with you i don't want to meet you very clearly he says that i don't think you love me so she says to him that what makes you say that what makes you say that i don't love you and he comes up with something that this is what i feel and then she says something back to him that no this is not this is not why i did so this is what this is the reason behind my action or whatever but both of them don't get each other both of them they are like no this person is not giving me the correct explanation this person is not satisfying my situation or my problem my solution is not there all of this happens when there are blocked energies because it's not them it's not the outside person who is troubling you it's your own inner thought that is troubling you and since they both mirror each other's insecurities each other's problems each other's uh shallow thinking narrow mindedness there is nothing wrong in accepting what's wrong in us we are not perfect people the problem is when we try to be perfect we have to find perfection in our imperfections that yeah i think i did this mistake i made this mistake but next time onwards i'm not going to do this but you don't have to go after someone when you are real when you are true when you're authentic you don't have to convince other people someone your masculine to you know get back with you keep you know there are some girls they keep messaging 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 for 2 years they are messaging there is no response but they are messaging or i saw somewhere there was a question someone had written that i have not spoken to my dm for 1 and 1/2 years or 2 years or something like that yeah 2 years and it says birthday should i message him happy birthday like seriously does it does it matter 
does it matter that you have to wish wish that person in front of god say to god that hey it's his birthday and i wish him well that's it if you really want to but these happy birthdays these parties this these get together gathers these dates all of these are very materialistic things and this whole sacred sexuality is basically trying to tell you that you got to love the soul so much that the body follows automatically without you doing anything even the intimacy has to be inspired action it does not have to be deliberate or planned action so these two individuals they are basically deliberately planning things out deliberately doing everything that okay i will do i will make this move and it will the other person will like it and if the other person doesn't like it they go like oh my god this person doesn't love me or all my efforts to please them always go in vain this is lack of patience this is lack of timing this is lack of understanding you know there are so many married couple they sometimes go through these phases of separation while living under the same roof and that's why i said some of you could be in union also for the world for the you know for the society you must be in union that you're married you're the twin flame divine couple who are married and who are happy with each other and you're sharing the videos you're talking to people blah 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 but you're under one roof you're not happy you're probably spending you know like your time away from each other trying to it's good to spend time alone it's really healthy to spend time alone but when you're spending time alone if you keep cursing each other that look at this person she doesn't care for me or he doesn't care for me you know that mind chatter that disrespect then there's no point of being alone so some of you are under the same roof but you are still in separation and some of you are in long distance relationship but you're in union you're so happy with each other you're like hey i have not seen this person for a year he's on some work project or she's on some work project or they're doing something with the environment they're doing something for the animals or for the plant world or for this or for that or for some social service work they have gone away or blah 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 so many scenarios can play out but you have so much commitment for each other so much love for each other so much respect for each other commitment is not on paper so being a divine feminine and being a divine masculine this is the number one thing that you need to write down on your to do list that you love one another no matter what it's not about the body it's not about the body at all it's not about the you know the sacred sexuality this is the meaning of sacred sexuality that it's not about the steps you take every day to be with someone to understand someone to please someone it should be very smooth sail like normal thing and there can be days when you have a headache there can be days when you have a stomach ache there can be days that someone may not be up for a movie or up for a phone conversation for a long chat you should just let them be if you're an independent person you are not going to go and poke into someone's space again and again like a woodpecker like hey look at me look at me look at me give me space give me time give me love give me love give me love you don't love me you don't love me oh you don't love me you're so this you're so that oh, i hate you for not loving me enough I, i love you so much but you don't show it to me you don't do anything to show it to me i have these demands you never fulfill them i have so much expectations 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 and then you're complaining you're complaining 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 you're a complain bag you're a nag that's not a healthy relationship that's not being divine and then to manipulate you know there there are these situations when you know sexuality is used and then what does it leave you with it leaves you with feeling heavy grumpy sad unhappy in pain so in this channeling i want to say that you are perfect whole and divine you're perfect your sexuality is perfect you're beautiful you're amazing and so is he he or she whosoever it is in front of you they are fine the way they are if they need a break if they need some space if they want to do something of their own let them be because that is also a part of sexuality sexuality is exploring yourself fully it's not something negative this is where the channeling ends now for all of you for any personal healing or reading or tarot card sessions live sessions video sessions 
there are many techniques that i use there are many techniques that i have developed over a period of time over all these years of my work the book that i have written i wrote that book in 2009 actually 2009 onwards i was writing it 2010 it got published and then 2011 it got republished after better work after better editing and all that so i've been in this journey for a long time and i i can say this from my own experience that many of us we keep coming and going into union don't get fooled by the union that is being sold in the market that is being sold in the market sorry sold and sold <laughs> you are here on this planet for a mission for a purpose and this is this is supposed to be your last life on planet earth unless you want to be here forever you want to be in the same loop of life and birth it's up to you and your divine feminine and your divine masculine and this is for divine feminine so divine masculine your divine masculine is here to help you out he's actually your team member he is your team player remember that everything that he gives you as a trigger or and if he runs away from you any time he runs away from you you know that there is work to do and if he especially runs after intimacy then you know that there is sacral chakra healing there are sexual traumas there is some abuse that has happened there is so much that you need to work on you need to become like this person who's very confident about her choice of love about her choice of person about her choice of partner so thank you so much for being here with me on this channeling and I also want to thank the universe for uh doing this so spontaneously using me as a vessel using me as a messenger and I don't even know how this is happening uh you know you must have gone through my channel history you must have seen my previous videos I was not doing channelings regularly I was doing it before the lockdown in India I was very regular and then you know but in the last 4 5 5 6 months I have been receiving so many messages so many updates that one point I was going like oh my god what's happening I am getting so many messages maybe i should write it down maybe i should put it somewhere maybe i should make an audio and then come back to it later and i did that i did make those audios and then i deleted them so it's all divine timing it's all divine intervention we cannot do everything just like that something makes us do it we are not the doer doer is someone else the supreme being as the doer so let supreme being be the doer let source energy be the doer and we should just be the observer someone who watches you are the one who watches then you are not going to react you are not going to react when they run away you are not going to react when they say something mean you are just going to wait you are just going to be peaceful and you'll say hey it hurts in my heart there is some heaviness let me first deal with this let me just look into myself and remove this heaviness all the very best and stay around and i love you all and let's spread one love and peace on planet earth and give as much love as we can to our mother earth